everyone it's your man James Terrell and I'm here on set with Mr. Lee Daniels and we are talking about his newest show Star. How are you Lee? I'm good. You're good. Really You're good. good. So I just finished an interview with Amaya and again I've known Amaya for years now and I'm so excited about her growth and I'm glad that you I'm personally excited that you brought her on to the show. So tell me about the the view with with, with having Amaya and her character on the show. My sister introduced me to her. Okay. My sister Gurley introduced me to her on Instagram. And I started following her. Mm -hmm. And she did not follow me back. Oh, shady. I said, you're not following <laughs> the original Big Daddy back? And so and so we found out much later, she said, I knew you were following me. Oh, okay. And, um, That's Amaya. So Amaya. That's so Amaya. I fell in love with her. I just fell in love with her and um, her spirit mm -hmm. and uh, her struggle. Yeah. And her, um, her honesty. Yeah. And so we're telling that story. Um, and she's become a great little actor, mm -hmm. and I'm really excited about her. I, I like discoveries. Yeah. And even though we know her, the world doesn't. No, they don't. They so don't. I, I think it's great. I think it's it's something that, that that you're touching on in in this show that no one has ever touched on before. And um, so 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 I think it's great that you have her as a character. Um, I'm just I was watching the first episode, and within the first nine minutes, I was glued to my laptop. <laughs> like I'm ready for episode two. And and you have Queen Latifah on set. Um, mm -hmm. Queen is everything to me. How is it working with Queen Latifah? Just what you would think, everything. Everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, it took her a second to understand why, you know, she had the, the you know, the cheap wigs on and the cheap clothing <laughs> on. As is the character, shut up, get in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you're working with three um, ladies that are, I think, fairly new to the industry, mm -hmm. to the business. Um, have you been able to kind of mold them, give them some word of advice when it comes into, into the industry? I don't think that I'm going to be able to, I mean, I have, I've tried to, but okay. I don't think that anything's going to prepare them for what it is that's going to happen to them. Yeah. I think, no, I don't think so. I think that, uh, I mean, because I, I watched it happen to uh, Hakeem and Jamal mm -hmm. and um, and I can, and there was, there were no words. They aren't going to prepare themselves. I don't think there's anything I can say that's going to prepare them. And you know, there aren't any girl groups, you know, yeah, that are, no. you know, that are around. So. Hopefully, um, right now we have June's Diary, Kelly Rowland's um, group. I think that's a, that's a I don't know fairly, that. fairly new group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, not good that they're able to um, sustain. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I'm 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 sitting here and 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 I'm replaying Empire in my head and I'm looking at that sort of first episode. You are about the star factor of, of, of all of your shows. Are there any... What does that mean, the star factor? I just feel like you, I, I feel like I can be sitting and watching one episode and I see, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if First Lady Michelle Obama walks onto, <laughs> <laughs> onto the, onto the Don't set. Don't give me line. any ideas. I feel like Lee, like, <laughs> that's what I'm prepared. I'm, I'm waiting to see who's going to be this huge star that the next big star that Lee Daniels is going to bring on set. <laughs> should, 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 should the readers be kind of prepped for it? Anyone huge besides Naomi? That, that I think Nick. Well, I think Naomi and Lenny together as uh -huh. Alexandra's it's parents. Crazy. It is beyond. I'm sure my expectation. I'm sure. And she is really what's, what's so exciting is watching her grow as an actor. Yeah. Because I we had her on Empire, mm -hmm. but she upped her game. Yeah. On this on this show, so it's exciting. Good, good. I'm excited. Gladys Knight coming on. Is she? Mm, I'm we're a huge great, fan of Gladys. We're, we're great tribute to her really? on the third episode. Yeah. I believe so yeah. I feel, I feel like she she's one person in the industry that 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 she needs more tributes of things. Mm -hmm. She's brought so exactly. much to music. Oh yeah, she's so oh, humble. I'm very excited about working with her. I love Gladys Knight. So if you had an if you had an opportunity to to create a biopic about one all girl group in history, who would it be? What group would it be? What group would it yeah. be? Well, I've been offered, you know, many, you know, many <laughs> jobs to, to, you know. That... I've been offered plenty of jobs, okay. <laughs> no, 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 um, to no, tell no, stories. No. I don't mean it like that. Okay. I mean, I've been offered jobs to tell stories about biopics about girl groups. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm telling the story that I want to tell. Yeah. I don't think that I really want to, um, I don't really want to tell any other story about girl groups except uh, this fictional because I know, I knew Whitney Houston. I knew, you know, some of these women that, um, I knew um, yeah. Amy Winehouse. So it's a hard, to, you know, it's hard for me to tell stories about people that you know. Right, yeah, I, I completely understand. So I'm, I'm gonna say, 
our readers are excited. The YBF readers are extremely excited. I'm excited. I saw the first episode and I'm hooked already. Thank you. And 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 I want to say personally that I'm so excited for, for for the angle that you're bringing about and and Amaya and and, and Lawrence. Like I love that. And I, I, I think, think that, it's something. I think that you know. I think it's. Empire has laid the foundation yeah. for me to have this story about Star Told. I think that right now in our country, we are at the brink of civil war. And I think for me to bring a white girl into this colorful environment with, mm -hmm. transgender, pe for, with transgender people and for her to look some, for her to look a black queen in the face and say, you're a racist, yeah. bitch. Yeah, you put everything on film that's happening oh, yeah. in real life. Yeah. Love it. And Love I think it. that we'll heal from it. Okay, well thank you so much. Thank you. We're definitely going to be pushing star Yay. on the YBF.com. Again, thank you all so much for joining us. It's your man, James Sorrell, here with the YBF.com. And I got the infamous <laughs> Mr. Lee Dames with me.